going to show you 25 foods that you did not know were vegan. So before I get started, I do want to make a point that um, <clears throat> not all these foods are necessarily healthy for you because, you know, a lot of this stuff is junk food, but um, these are arranged from different snacks to different products that you can make with different foods or different meals or have as certain snacks. So yeah, let's get started. With this, this is a bag of flour tortillas and these would also go good with black beans, refried beans, even garbanzo beans. And um, so you have that, you can actually make a lot of stuff out, like a lot of different kinds of burritos from that, those ingredients. And also we have these home style round chips that you can eat with salsa from, um, this is Pace Chunky Salsa, mild, that's vegan as well. And corn chips are also vegan. And then also we have some more, actually we have sauce, tomato sauce, classico traditional sweet basil that is also vegan. And you can actually cook that with some Ronzoni Garden Delight one serving of vegetable noodles. So um, these would taste really good with the sauce or um, also, I mean, these noodles would be perfect for making yourself like a vegan pasta salad as well. Um, these Pad Thai noodles from Seven Lotus are also vegan. And also, who doesn't love a good, like, bowl of ramen, right? So, um, from Top Ramen, um, so you want to make sure that you get the Oriental flavor from Top Ramen because, um, the other brand of ramen that's very, like, it's very popular in various grocery stores, that's actually not vegan or vegetarian, so stick with Top Ramen. And actually, shout out to Vegan Cheetah, who loves these. And, um, yeah, so this is also really cheap and this is very, like, obtainable, so we have that. Um, we also have um, this so delicious dairy-free soy milk non-dairy frozen dessert. This is really good, by the way. This is peanut butter zigzag and this is delicious. And um, this is another thing I highly recommend. We also have wheat thins, which are really tasty. I like these a lot. They're also vegan. We have Hershey's syrup, genuine chocolate flavor, and this is ironically vegan. Like there's no dairy products whatsoever in here, and it's vegan, guys. So it's, it would go perfect with this vegan ice cream too. And then also we have, um, and I'm not too sure if all, um, you know, like little pretzely kind of guys are vegan, but these are. And um, this is Pure Growth Organic USDA Organic Sea Salt Pretzels. And I love the fact that there's sea salt too, so I love sea salt. And um, there's these guys. And then we also have, of course, almonds. And um, almonds are definitely vegan and they're really good for you. And um, this is where a lot of vegetarians and vegans get their protein from uh, various nuts as well as beans. So there you go. And um, these are 100 calorie packs. These are good for if you're um, like keeping track of your calories and stuff like that. And um, they're really good too. I really like these. And we also have surprisingly rich crackers are vegan of all things because I always thought they have like um, like a buttery taste to them, but like it, it doesn't have dairy in it, which is surprising and really amazing because I love I love crackers. They're awesome. And also I can't necessarily can't really pick this up, but back there we have S rice and that's vegan. Rice is vegan as well, guys. And also, there's a lot of different things that you can do, do with rice. You can even put them in, uh, like, burritos and stuff like that. And um, we also have Pringles. And I was surprised to find out that this was vegan as well because, I don't know, it's always struck me as, like, having, like, um, like some sort of, like, um, dairy in it. But, no, um, these are really good. I love these so much. Uh, and also, we have, um, surprisingly, also, Pillsbury Croissant Original with no artificial flavors, and these actually do not have any kind of butter, dairy, egg, anything in them that's uh, non-vegan, so 
These are really good too. These taste really good too. With and without um, butter. And also, um, and also, I don't, ironically, I don't think that, um, I can't believe it's not butter is vegan actually. Actually, also, we have this butter, which is really, really good. I love this butter. It's smart balanced butter and it's dairy free, extra virgin olive oil, and it's super good. And it's, um, I would say that it would taste marvelous with these croissants right here. We also have over here, and also, this surprised me too, Cocoa Pebbles are vegan. There's no um, egg or dairy in these. And also, I highly recommend Silk Almond Milk to go along with these Cocoa Pebbles because it's cruelty free, it's, you know, dairy and egg free, and it's an amazing, delicious little breakfast right there. Gluten free as well. Gluten free as well, guys. Also, Oreos are vegan too, and also um, I would be very wary of the type of Oreos that you're getting because sometimes they actually do contain dairy if they're like a certain flavor or something, but um, Oreos are a delicious, delicious little snack, and I, I love Oreos so much, so um, Oreos are also vegan. And then um, we have another favorite snack of mine, and I didn't know this was vegan either! Nutter Butters. I love Nutter Butters. I haven't had Nutter Butters in so long, and I'm so glad I have them right now because they're some of my favorites. I tried them at school once and I fell in love with them, but yeah, Nutter Butters are delicious. Um, not good if you're allergic to peanuts, though. I just pointed that out right there. But, um, the peanut butter lover's cookie. So, like, it's really, really tasty. I love those. And then also, Another surprising one too is um, Cracker Jacks, the original, and um, what's fun is that these come with a prize too. But um, yeah, these are vegan, and let me double check actually. Yeah, they actually don't have that many uh, ingredients, so yeah, these are vegan. They're tasty and they come with a prize. And then also we have, and I think this is our last item now. Yeah, this is our last item, and also this is really good for um, if you're having a huge craving for like some sort of chocolatey whatever, or if you have really bad case of PMS, um, I highly, highly recommend these. These are um, Duncan Hines Creamy Homestyle Frosting in the classic chocolate flavor, and um, as you can see there's no high fructose corn syrup, and let me double check this, see if it's vegan. It's vegan, and also Surprisingly, it's gluten free. Okay. And also, this would be great if you had like some fruit and you dipped it in here, or even like, um, even I personally would like something like um, Nutter Butters dipped in here, or Oreos dipped in here, or even Ritz Crackers dipped in here. Like, this is an, a fantastic, amazing frosting that's good with so many different things. And also, speaking of gluten free, um, if you guys want a top 25 gluten free products, sort of video. Um, I will gladly do it for you guys if you want one, because um, there's so many different reasons why people go uh, gluten-free, whether it's like um, for like certain diet reasons or certain health reasons, you know. I, I think I will make that video actually, because like I think that's another good video to make um, about um, like to kind of show people like there's all sorts of different foods that are gluten-free. And also, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And um, I hope that you guys are more motivated to go vegan from watching this video, seeing all sorts of different um, yummy vegan treats. And also, one last thing, um, these extra crisp, crispy easy fries, these are actually gluten-free too, and these are vegan, these are delicious. And another thing before I go, um, that's also vegan, is these Japanese fry, Japanese style fried rice from Trader Joe's. A lot of Trader Joe's stuff is very vegan um, and vegetarian friendly. Um, I hope that, um, also from watching this video, I, um, really inspired you guys to go, um, more to, like, having either a vegan or vegetarian diet because, um, being a vegan or vegetarian really helps the environment, it helps, um, save the lives of several animals, and also, um, I'm not actually going to be doing a meatless Mondays type of deal where I, um, where I cook different vegan foods so that I can, you know, spread awareness about veganism because I think it's something very important that's always overlooked, you know what I mean? And, um, I want to show you guys that there are all sorts of different foods that you can have that are cruelty free and are meat free and you know what I mean? And also, um, as a vegetarian myself that's experimenting with veganism, 
I want to kind of explore that as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I'll see you next time.